all tarnished in search of the Elden Ring. Time to get your ass spanked. What a sneeze. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just gonna blue ball myself on this one. Top of the morning to you ladies! My name is Jacks Up the Guy and welcome back to Elden Ring. Think of Bam's Adventures! Off we are again! So, we did uh, Rayo Lucaria. Um, map's all uncovered now. Looking good. Looking slick. The next place that I want to go is Caria Manor. Which is right up here. And then after that we're gonna head all the way up here. Go through the rune-strewn precipice. Then head on up to the Altus Plateau. And then after that we're gonna head down and do Kaelid. Um, there's a very specific order that I want to do things in and I can do whatever I want because I'm Dinklebam, baby And I'm going to become the new Elden Lord and when I do become Elden Lord It's going to be free tacos for everybody Except they have to pay for them But I'll just say they're free and get everybody involved. Can you all stop shooting me, please? Thank you visible wall. Thank you Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I'm a tiny little boy Thanks all right, what's up, E.G.? Well, look at you. We don't receive many visitors. I'm tiny. <laughs> I presume you are uh, tarnished? What brings you here? Oh, you know. The, the love of it all. I'm looking for love, E.G. I'm out here looking for someone to appreciate the red gem on my forehead. He's selling good stuff. But I don't have a, a weapon that needs somber smithing stones yet, so... What are you gonna do? Oh, out there. When I'm absorbed in my smithing, I lose sight of all else. Hmm. If you come too close, I'm apt to cause you harm. I am, after all, terribly large compared to you, Tarnish. I hadn't noticed. Hey, your friend Blythe sent me. You got something for me? You got the goods? I actually did that. Did he? Quite a rare occurrence for such a guarded soul as he. Perhaps he sensed something unusual about you. At any rate, if you're friendly with Blythe, I've something else that might suit you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, somebody pointed out that Blythe means wolf in Welch. And we also found, um, Latena? And she, her wolf is named Lobo, and people were saying that Lobo is wolf in Portuguese. That's cool. Uh, he sells you this, which lowers your FP consumed by skills. Which, if I can make it fit into my gear, I will. Um, right now I get stamina, but it's very useful for later. Because when I do that slice, I just lose less FP then. Okay, thank you, EG. Thank you, bye. Uh, this is Carrier Manor. This is where a lot of bad stuff is happening. It has a defense system. But it's okay. I've got a horse. Ah! Go, Torrent, go! Ah, miss me. You have to try better than that if you want to hit me. Psych! <laughs> Come on, try to hit me. Whoa! Woohoo! Hard to hit a moving target, isn't it? Yep! Ow! Fuck! Jesus! Carrier Manor. A stinky place. You see what's on the walls over there? You see what's hanging out? Their hands. It's like an enemy that looks like this, and they come after you. It's so gross. I think they're my least favorite enemy in the game. I mean, I love them. They're amazing. Incredible design, but they're so creepy, I mean. That's what I hate about them. And they hurt a lot. You gonna jump down? Do I have to get this item for you to jump down? Ooh, God, kill him. Kill him before he kills you. Jesus! Ugh. I'm just gonna put that out there. No one's gonna put a ring in that finger. Somebody already did, but I'm. No one's gonna love you, cause you're a bunch of freaky fingers. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Poor dude was just chilling in here. Oh God, I see what you were up to. Oh, did I? I disrupted a man at his peak. Testosterone right there. My bad. Oh, God. You're not doing the same, are you? Okay. There's ectoplasm everywhere. Ah! Get out of 
out of here with your freaky magic. Leaving your splooge all over the place. Oh, I don't like that word. Splooge. <laughs> Why did I say it? Why did I say it if I don't like it? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes things pop into my brain and they just have to come out. Oh, look at them all. Look at them all rubbing the ground. You know how we had the two fingers before? Now we have the 200 fingers. The two dozen fingers. It's so disgusting. You should feel ashamed for yourselves. I'm gonna put it into your whole career. Nice, nice. We weave and dodge. Weave and dodge. Okay, hit it with the four. Ow, there's a second. Oh God, Daddy Long Fingers. Ah, heal. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Hit him with the blood! Oh god, they go so far. Hit him with the blood! You missed! Ow! I'm not dying to a bunch of fingers, okay? That's not how Dinkle Bamp's going out. Where's the rest of them? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. They're all coming. They're coming like s kids heading to school. Okay, okay, this is fine. This is fine. I just need Daddy Long Nails to go away. These guys are fine. Super fine. Okay, you don't see me. Bye. I'm not dealing with that. There's just, there's just no way. Look, they're hiding in the ground and everything. What is a man to do against such horror? I'll fall over and die. Guys, I've played this game. I finished it so often and I still, ah! I can't, I can't, it's too much. It's just, it's too much, you know? You don't, you don't imagine that you're gonna get assaulted by fingers. So many of them. So, so many of them. I don't need anything here. Least of all, a heart attack. Is this item safe? There's no fingies around, is there? They're all just hiding here. How did you even get underground? Did you dig with your nails? Your nails do look great, by the way. Like, out of all the things that are going on with you, a little meat stump at the back, but your nails are flawless. Can't argue with that. Ah! Oh yeah! Oh, who's the best fingers in town? I'm refusing to make a joke about getting fingered. And look, I get it. Ah, Jesus Christ, hold on, I'm telling a joke. Look, I get it. A lot of you at home are say say the line. Say the line, Sean. Say the joke. I thought it's a joke immediately. Getting fingered. Say it. It's it's too low ball for me. I'm sorry. Your humor's just not up to scratch. You're gonna have to up your top tier comedy if you wanna compete in this arena. Am I actually ready for Carrie Manor? <laughs> Those are the thoughts that are going through my head right now. See, normally you're playing the game and you're going through all the dungeons and you're hyper leveling. I'm at level 50. I think I probably could be at level 60 plus if I really farmed stuff. But you know, I've seen it. I know. Don't quote the sacred texts at me. I was there when they were written. I was playing this game before any of you even had it released to you. I'm just hoping that by the time I get to the Rivers of Blood Katana at the end of this build, it's not nerfed already. <laughs> Because it's going to get nerfed, absolutely. It's way too strong the way it is right now, but I'm going to exploit it for this Let's Play. And it's really, really fun and it makes me feel like an anime character. I don't actually think there's anything down here for me. You can go down this way and get a Sword of Night and Flame, which is the original OP sword in the game. But I don't need that. That's for faith and intelligence builds. A rune, Eric. Oh God. Run! Run! They're on you! Run! They're following you! Oh Lord! Oh Lord! I'm blocked in! I mean, it's a blockade! Alright, you wanna tussle? You wanna go into the arena toe-to-toe -to -toe with the BAMP? Eat that! Eat that! How does that feel? How does it feel to be double dead? You're nothing but spectral warriors! You're not even real! Can't hurt me. I'm running away from my feelings. Ah. Whoa! Whoa! Catch these moves! Uh, uh, I made it. Uh. <laughs> I look useful when I started this area. I had, my hair was all grown in. Now it's just patchy and falling out from stress. Good lord. Ugh. Anyway, hey, look, sight of grace. 
That's nice. You like to see that after a long, arduous journey. Wolves everywhere. There's a golden seed, though. How many golden seeds do I have? Three? <gasps> I could probably upgrade my flasks, actually. Or do I need five already? I don't know. We're about to teach this guy a lesson. Where are you looking, huh? Fight's over here, big boy! Oh god, I thought you would fall off. I thought- I thought you would fall off! Chill! Chill, chill, chill! Okay. Okay, just so we know who the real warrior is here, right? Let me scratch your belly. Let me scratch your belly. Who's a big boy? Who's a big boy? <laughs> ah! No fear! Look, I know, I know a secret. Not many people know this. Go over here. Jump. Easy. <laughs> Easy peasy. Tinker Bab's got it. <laughs> so, I never realized that you can see, like, dark eyes under this. Don't be moaning in my ear. Ew. That's for your mom to do. Ha-ha! Nice. Hit him with the joke, and then catch him off guard, and then... Hit him with the quad. That's how you take guys down. I probably should be sneaking. Uh, one of those mages probably saw me and is chasing me. Yep. Absolutely. That's what happens when you mess it up! Whoa! What up? Bleed for me, baby boy! Alright, boss in here. We're gonna have to fight Loretta. Now, Loretta's not too tough. But Loretta can't bleed. Which is very unfortunate. I also have Kaiden that I can summon. But how much does Kaiden cost? Or Kaiden, however you pronounce it. 88. I have 85. Is there any way I can get... <sighs> I don't have any flasks for this. I need to go- I need to go back and rest. Run. 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 Look, you guys saw me already. There's nothing new here, okay? There's no new ground being being broached. All right, straight into the boss fight. Loretta is going to show up. Go, Caden. He didn't follow me in, did he? Caden's awesome. Caden, Caden, I I never know. Huh. All right, I can't bleed Loretta, which is unfortunate, but I can do a lot of damage. Oh God! Don't be using that thing like a shotgun at me. That's good damage! Don't die, Caden! Can't get me! Okay, if you try that, you might. Ow! She hit me with the mid-air shuffle! Dodging all your blades! Okay, you need to, like... You need to get stunned real quick. And I need to get like... Ah, I just healed that! Unfair. I also put a flask on and didn't equip it. I have a blue flask ready to go and I didn't equip it. What is wrong with me? Can I do it in the mid fight? Hell yeah, look at that! Pro gamer! Don't even come at me! Oh God. Kaden, no! I'll avenge you, brother! My brother in arms! Stop it! That's not cool! Asshole! Holy God. The kitchen sink as well. You got that ready to go? You got that ready to hit me? Stop, stop, stop. I'm not, no, I'm not rushing it. I'm not rushing it. I got all the time in the world. Watch this. You're dead! You're dead! And I'll dodge your posthumous blades. Damn. <laughs> dodge these feelings. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to sound cooler than I am. I'm trying to, like, build it up. I'm trying to, like, get the hype going. I'm trying to get everybody involved. I don't know how to do it. I'm a lowly little Irishman from the middle of the country where nobody else lived. How do I be cool? Yeah! Killed you like that! What do you think went on here? This is where the Carrier Royal family live. Um, like magic people 
and they were with Ranala down at the academy and then a whole bunch of stuff happened and they retreated and came back up to their castle and you know kind of recluses kind of like saving their old royalty kind of thing um, so a lot of the weaponry and a lot of the magic is like carrion piercer or carrion well, I don't have any of them now um, it's just carrion stuff so they have their own magic branching off from the the school but I, I wonder what they do here do they hold meetings so they're just like yelling across the water at each other in last week's minutes we we left the academy I can't hear you all the way over here. What did you say? He said that we left the academy. Who? Who? The rally? What? Fuck your chairs. Fuck your meetings. Fuck your royal family. Fuck everybody, okay? I don't give a shit. I'm Dinklebap. I'm gonna create a new world. A better world. A stronger world. None of this petty squabbling between everybody. I'm gonna go to the Tree Sisters. They're actually just churches. They're not, there's no sisters here. Anyway, jokes aside, this area is where... Remember that lady who gave us the summon? She was a little witch uh, with the white hat and she gave us the spirit calling bell. She's here. She went by the name Renna when we met her that time. But she was disguising herself. That's... I think that's Renna's tower right there. But they were... There's a dragon there. I'm not fighting it. He disappears if you get him down to a certain amount of health and then you have to fight him later again anyway. So there's no point fighting him here. Um, her name is Rani, originally, and this is her tower. I think the idea is that you had the four Belfries towers, and I think these are the three sisters. You know, like, in Lord of the Rings, you had the two towers. Those were, like, sister towers to each other. I think this is the same sort of deal. These are, like, the three sister towers, and they belonged to the three sisters of Renala. They're Renala's kids. Um, and Rani was the one that brought up the image, the illusion of fighting Renala, that second phase. She conjured that. She's like a witch of the moon. There she is. She's got four arms. Oh. Again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. I'm just cool like that. I go around killing everybody until there's no one left, and then I push forward uh, to become Elden Lord. And then my rule becomes the rule of the land. But, you know, no particular no reason. No reason in particular thou claimest. Intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this reunion. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my service? Hmm. I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago, and search now for the dark path, that I might one day upend the whole of it, and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that roused thy interest? Okay, nice. She says that here. So now we're going to get a bit of a lore dump for me about what's going on. So you saw in the beginning of the game, Godwin was killed. And I said that he was the first, he's the first demigod killed. And he, he was killed by the black knives. There, there's a thing you can do to confront Rani about it, but I, I didn't do it, now I'm already here. But basically Rani was behind that coup to kill the demigod Godwin. There's more to it that I could say now, but I don't really want to spoil it in case she says it later and there's there's more to go on, but she was basically behind that plot. If you talk to Rogier, the guy that was in Stormvale Castle more, and you find more of him and come here, you can confront her about that. He'll tell you more about it, but I I just did things in the wrong order because I always do. It's an open world game. It's, it's really easy to miss stuff. Um... But some stuff happened to Rani as well that night. We'll get to learn more about that later. Uh, but now you can serve her and she gets one of the endings. She's seeking to get rid of the established order. So the golden order that the Elden Ring brought in, which was um, basically it's like the laws of the land. It's like how our universe was created and the laws of physics and logistics and math and everything are created within our universe. Could be a universe out there where none of that stuff applies. Um, so it's the same in this when 
the lands between were created or the, the golden order came in, it governed like the laws of death, the laws of physics, the laws of magic, everything. The laws of logic. Um, and it was brought in by an outer god who is the two fingers. So she wants to upend that order and she doesn't want to serve the two fingers anymore and serve the greater will. Um, and because the rune of death was taken, um, have we met Garank in this playthrough? I think we might have. Um, the rune of death was stolen and um, death became like a weird thing in the world and that's why we're able to resurrect. So when we die, we come back to life. When you rest at the site of grace, the, the enemies you killed come back to life because the rune of death is not really the same as it is in our world. I see. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer. But I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Okay, cool. So she has other people that are helping her accomplish this as well, and we're about to become a servant to that greater cause. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is in my service a half-woven warrior by the name of Blythe. Met him. Have Pretty cool. Him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. You got it. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. Also, heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them. What advantage thou canst. I'm sure the others will be doing just the same. <laughs> that thou canst. Yes, Shakespeare. Um, God, look at that. I love seeing the, the fog kind of cloud everything and seeing... Like, I was there. It's, it's not a thing that's just like painted in the distance to look cool. It's actually rendered in in the distance. And then you go all the way there, and you can just explore that whole building. Fromsoft blow me away with their level design. And there's the dragon down there. So cool. Uh, that up there is Mount Gelmir. We're going there later. It's in the Altus Plateau. And that building there in the middle of it is Volcano Manor. As you can tell, it's a house in a volcano. Some cool stuff happens there. It's not for you to know right now, okay? Just... Put a sock in it, we'll get there eventually. Hey, there he is. In spectral form, but he's here nonetheless. Hmm. Long time, friend. Blythe. Have you forgotten? I'd never forget you. you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. Nice. Um, that is... I don't think I've gone down there yet, have I? No, I have the Ainsel River Well Depths, but that's a different one. So we're going down through... Uh, right here. That's where, where Blythe is. Um, if you remember, we met him here, so he's still there. He's just talking to us from a distance, and then we'll go down through here and we'll end up in Siofra. Maybe we should do that next, actually. It's a cool area. I'm going below to the west, see if I can't... Okay, bye Blythe, thank you. And then you have sneaky, sniveling little Celibus. His voice is so like, eh. I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. But I love it. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. I am Celibus. Perception yeah, she told us. What it is the mistress sees in a provincial, tarnished like you. But since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all Okay, down. buddy! Look, I'm cool. Do you realize how many people I've killed to get here? I'd kill you if you weren't a hologram. I reside in another tower close by. Okay. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani, 
I if bet. Up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. I'm gonna go and kill her. And who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? Uh, my lady. Okay. You have to talk to all of these guys like a bunch, and then they finally let you out of this area. Because otherwise, you're locked in. Oh, Salavis! Heard you talking smack from the other freaking tower. You want to go toe to toe? Oh, the temptation to spam L1 in your face. Well, well, you took me up. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. I love his voice actor. Uh, perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Um, sure. What kind of potion? Love potion? She was cool. She was super muscular. Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Hmm. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. Okay, you sniveling little weirdo. For the longest time, I saw people run around in Blythe's outfit, and I was like, man, how do you get that? Like, the wolf mask? I got the rest of it, which I'll get later. It, it never occurred to me that it's just sitting up here on the side of that wall. Like, why is it there? I don't really like it. I don't really want to wear it. Not without the full outfit. The full outfit's dope. But just the wolf head on this, not as cool. I like my, uh... I like my Skeletor papyrus face more. Eh, who wants to go kill some dragons? There it is. Our little well that we're going down through. Well, this is not really a well. But it'll bring us down all the way underground. See off for a river well. Wait, gotta get rid of this. Did it go away? Nice. Now we sit and ride the longest elevator in history. We're still going? Oh god. <laughs> yeah, Siafra. This area is gorgeous. Everything's in ruins though. What about a, a Souls type game that, ha like, it's not post apocalyptic? I'm just saying. What about something in its heyday? Wait. I couldn't write Torrent for a second, but now I can hear. All right, this is not where the goodies are. I'm also not fighting these guys because they, they're way too hard. They take so many hits and give you nothing. Just nothing. But you are guarding some good stuff. Oh yeah. Big reveal, big reveal. Look at that. Breathe it in, folks. It's so pretty. I absolutely love the colors in this region. The fact that it's like, it looks like a nebula over there. And these all look like stars. That's a uh, Mogwin Palace. Are people, some people are saying Mowin. He's a Mogwai. I don't know how you actually pronounce it. You fight Mog up there, M-O-H-G. Or people have been saying Mo. I don't know which is right. Uh, but I would love to be corrected. Um, but that's way later. I don't actually get to do that here. So, our plan, all right? I'm gonna hit you with the details real quick. You see these pillars on the right? All right, count them up. Two, four, six, eight. Eight pillars. We gotta light eight torches. Each torch we light lights up one of the pillars, then bada bing, bada boom, boss opens up, all right? Are you ready? We're gonna go on a trip. All right, we got torch one, you see that? Boom, torch 
Number two in the back. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Leave me alone! Ah! Hell yeah, man. No, crab, no. Stay put. I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment! I just want to look at the environment before every single animal in the jungle book wants to kill me. Wow, look. So pretty. Dude, go away! Alright, torch number three. Did he just break me? I'm stuck. Nope. Nope. I'm not letting a death happen. No. He pushed me into the stone. I can't get out of that. Am I? Oh, I'm out. I'm out. Ah, Christ. Oh, baby. That's Nokron up there. That's, that's technically where we're heading. So unbelievably pretty. It just shows you how far art style alone and art direction can take you. Like, look at this. Who thinks of this? Doing an underground area but making it look like the night sky. Fromsoft do. Miyazaki be praised. Excuse me, excuse me, just lighten this torch. What is that? Is that number four? You didn't give me an answer. You just threw rats at me. I'm, I'm guessing it's four. I'm leaving. Oh lord, the worst enemies in the game. These fucking archers. Ouch! They do so much damage with their stupid arrows. Oh! Check out the moves, baby! You didn't expect that, did you? Because I didn't. If I didn't, then you definitely didn't expect it. Oh my god. Why are the rats here? Ruining my perfect moments. Can't a man just have a bit of celebration? As I have- I have an arrow stuck in my chest! Oh god, someone call an ambulance. But not for me! Okay, maybe for me. Maybe a little for me? Maybe. My god, will you stop it? Holy god! Hey, uh, Miyazaki, how many moves should we give this guy? Miyazaki, yes. Sneaky. Sneaky does it. If they don't see you and don't hear you, you don't exist. Until you do! That didn't kill you, come on, man. Give me some slack! Oh god, why are you acting like a bull? Oh my god. Dude swinging around half of venison over here. It's okay, I got my flask back. I got the great horned headband. Hell yeah. Man, I look so cool. I don't need a great horned headband. Let's check it out, okay? Look how silly this is. I can either look like Lord of the Underworld, Grim Reaper, Bringer of Death, and Elden Lord to all the land, or I can look like I'm going to Burning Man. Okay, another pillar's in our reach. Watch out for the lightning. That's fine, that's fine, all good, all good. A pillar number, whatever that was. Sh what was it on the screen? Cool. Oh my god, how does it feel to be a loser? Ah, and again! Oh! You're gonna pay for that! I am dodging them left and right. Oh my god, what am I, Neo? Ah, baby! Oh god, why'd you lock onto the deer? I'm never getting hit. I'm never getting hit by another arrow again. I have deemed it. I have willed it into my own plan. Ow! <laughs> Guys, why is the Brady Bunch heading out for lunch up exactly where I need to go? Just, just let me through. Just let me through. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna light a torch and I'm gonna go. That's all I wanna do. I'm not even disturbing you, ghost men. Spectral soldiers. Handsome lads. Flattery will get you everywhere in this world, just letting you know. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, comments, please. Is this the last one? It better be, because I don't know where else to go. <laughs> Ancient power has unlocked. Ancient power has unlocked. Power gathers somewhere in the horn remains. Yes! That's what we like to see. Ha! Hey! I am speed! 
Move like a bullet! Sting like a bee! Actually, a bullet would hurt a lot more than a bee. But bees look cool. They're colorful. They bring joy. And honey. Nice. Look at all them torches lit. Well done. I'm proud of you. We accomplished our goal. We lit all the torches. And now this horned heap of hepatitis can be beaten. Touch him. Touch the heap. Oh, it sounds cool. Damn. This is a gorgeous boss fight. Wait till you hear the music in this fight. Um... I don't think I need Caden for this fight, but just in case. We'll do this anyway. Wow. Let the music play. Alright, not yet. He jumps like Torrent! There it is. So pretty. I think it's my favorite song in the game. It's just all the other songs are the same, you know, it's like loud choir, loud male choir starts playing and you like, you know what you're up against, orchestral music kicks in. This one is so different. Ah, Kate, we got kicked in the face together. Brothers in arms. Or feet. God, it's so hard to hit you. Caden, summoning you was a mistake. You wasted all my FP and now you're dead. Hoi! Oh, that was a big bleed. I'll take my time so you can see more of the boss. Psych. <laughs> you're a graceful warrior. Shall be remembered. But you went down like just like that, bro! Oh, get teabagged on! Oh, I'm so good! You suck! I feel like I've just disrespected a very holy land. <laughs> a very holy ground that was- that meant a very great deal to the people who were here. But if I'm Elden Lord, my rules, baby! Wait, we didn't even see Blythe! Oh, God! Holy hell, there he is! Hey, hey, buddy! Hi! Can I- I can't emote. Wait, hold on. Do you think he knows I'm here? Blythe! Hey! Hi! I don't think he knows I'm here. It would be cool if the emoted back. I also got this thing, which I love. The prattling pate. Oh wait. Ooh, so creepy. In the old games you could get stones that you threw in the ground and it went, very good. And now they brought them back for this game and they just sound creepier than ever. Kind of like it. Hey, Blythe! What's up, buddy? Wait, am I gonna get shot by arrows while talking to you? No, we're good. Ah. Good to see you. Apologies, mate. Ah! I can see bloody knock wrong. Make it quick! But I'm absolutely stumped. I tried all the gateways, to no avail. Uh, Perhaps it's time to ask Celebus. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Uh huh. Let's give him a squeeze. Show him just how sharp my teeth are. Talk to Celebus about it. I never actually realized that. I jest. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Oh. Besides, uh, I should check on some things here. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learns anything... <laughs> Ow! Wait. Attack Blythe again. I want to see if Blythe will actually fight back. <laughs> he pulled his sword out. <laughs> Come on. I know you have it in you. Look, you attacked me, but you're scared of Blythe. I'm like... <laughs> I'm like a kid brother standing behind his big brother. Like, go get him. I hurt. I literally am impaled with an arrow. Come on. Come on. There you go. Get him, Blythe! Get him, Blythe! Ah, uh, Blythe, I'm dying here. Fine. Ah! 
at least I know you don't have my back. Whatever. Anyway, it's kind of confusing because when you're here, I was like, he says that I can see Nokron above me. And I was like, oh, that must be Nokron then because it's clearly the centerpiece of the whole area. But Nokron is over there. That's Mogwin. Maybe he thinks that's Nokron. I don't know. Salavis, what do you know? I have no time for idle. The only thing I will hear are we and I have enough. Okay, what about Nokron though? Well, well. You're asking me about that, are you? Yeah. The task was left to you and the mongrel, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the academy. Mm. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. Okay. I'm just on an adventure, aren't I? Popping all over the place. Cool. Selen's down here. Oh boy, I just love when one person's like, go here, and talk to that person, and then the other person's like, just kidding, go here, talk to that person, eyes on in a bag. Young apprentice, you are a tadpole when it comes to magic. So, to become- Okay, I- I don't care! I have a letter of introduction, read this! Well, well. Salavis is not a name I ever wanted to hear again. But fine. If it will help you, my apprentice. I offer my knowledge. The stars alter the fate of the Karian royal family and the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations and in a crushing victory arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement and so too would Rani's destiny. How did you learn all that? Crazy. I do love that. So, Radan's the guy we need to kill in uh, Kaled. He's the boss down here. Best fight in the game, I think. It's it's not like the most intense fight or like, oh, you gotta learn the moveset and like overcome it and like a really f hard fought battle. It's just the spectacle of it is incredible. Um, but he's, he's basically stopping the stars. He's called Radan the Star Scourge. So, to like, go further, you need to kill him. Well, maybe we could go there now, I guess. Maybe into Kaled? Instead of up here, Altus Plateau is actually like, way later stuff. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll do a little bit of Kaled. Why not? It's good to be back in, uh, Limgrave. It's one of my favorite areas. If you notice these things as well, these are called Death Roots. So the things that I give to Garank, wait, do I have Garank? Did I go? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, you give these to Garank after you defeat like those who live in death and these are death roots. So once the rune of death was unleashed, it started to spread and grow everywhere and Garank is trying to get rid of it. He's trying to s stop death from happening again, basically, or stop death from spreading. Um, and that's why he asks you to weed them out. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's whatever. It's pretty epic. Oh, getting off our horse. A battle is to come. A battle that I am surely to win. For I am the ever knowing and ever all knowing Dinklebamp. What up? Ooh, that hurts you. Ooh, that hurts the Anastasia. You gonna heal? No, you're just gonna die. Ooh, stomped out. Hell yeah! Damn, I wrecked her. <laughs> Jesus. I still- wait! I still didn't add my flasks! My god. And I have sacred tears! What am I doing at all at all? Kaled! The scummiest place in the whole game. So gross. So ugly. See that bird right there? He will kill you and your whole family. And very, very easily as well. I've never fully explored this whole region because I just hate it. It's hard. It's ugly. I mean, it's everything it's supposed to be. Um, this is the land of Scarlet Rock. So if you've ever played the old uh, Dark Souls games, 
You got something called Toxic, which is like poison, but way, way worse. That's what Scarlet Rot is. It's awful. It just drains your health so quickly. Um, so if we can avoid it, that'd be great. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. Jurassic Park is after me. All right. Let's just go up here. We can avoid him. As long as we're quick. No, we can't! Holy! Okay. Okay. Move, Torrent. Move, move, move. Jesus! Holy crap! Don't like him. I don't like him. I don't like anything he stands for. Let's go in here. Jesus Christ. Oh my god! <laughs> he scared the crap out of me! Down you go! I'm just looking for the nearest subway. D lads know where I'm going. Alright, we'll do this cave because I need upgrade stones. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I'm a little sneaky. Oh man. Oh man, he didn't die. I mean, he did now, but these guys are going to be very hard to kill because my swords just bounce off them. Um, okay, okay, okay. Let's get a good big bonk going. That does nothing. That does nothing. Let me get my other sword back out real quick. I'm a diverse man. See, that's good. That's good. It could be better, actually. I honestly don't know if that damage is good enough to be going through Kaled just yet. I'm sure we can upgrade with all of this stuff as well. Ooh, land octopus ovary. Just those words together just sound disgusting. Yo, girl, you got that land octopus kind of pussy, you know? Jesus. Tough lad. Don't kill me, please. Please, no. Not like this. Not like this. Good God. Calm down. Smithing stone fours, yes. Don't trap me. Don't trap me, bro. Okay, I would kill you, but I feel like I don't get much out of it. And I have to hit you straight in the face to do it. I hate this. This tunnel sucks. You know, you heard of the tunnel of love? This is the tunnel of the opposite of that. What's up, big boy? These swords, sh swords should be able to hurt him. By like quite a bit. Nice, that's actually good damage, yes. But it sucks if he's gonna do that over and over again. Cause he's normally really tough. Cause he's kinda like immune to a lot of things, but you can bleed him pretty well. But he keeps doing this over and over again. Come on bro, learn some new moves. Nice, big bleed. Oh, can't hit me with that. I know your moves, worm man. Don't take my bubble. My bubble is precious to me. What is he doing? I'm not even over there. Give us another bleed. Ah! Mistimed. Oh, big bleed. Oh shit! Oh shit! I forgot that was there. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Okay, big bleeds! Don't you be spewing heartburn back at me! Uh oh. Oh my god, you should be dead by now. Okay, right in the face. Ooh, lord. Ooh, Lord. Okay, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Chill. 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 Cool off there, Dinklebamp. Your time will come. Light work. That was easy. Damn. Yes. Let's go. Whoo. That feels good. First try. Not even phased. First try in all these bosses. Except Margaret, but I chose to end that altercation early. Uh, my mom called that the pizza rolls are ready, so I decided to leave. Um, nice. You get the moon veil out of that fight, which... 
They nerfed it, but it's still pretty strong. It used to be, like, the go-to weapon for mage builds. It's really good. I highly recommend it if you want to play the game. My, look at you. I'm cool, right? Only once before have I seen two great runes together. Look there. The fingers shudder with exuberance. <laughs> They're happy. Fine work, brave tarnished. The greater will is pleased. You have earned the right to become Elden Lord. Now, seek the Erd Tree and an audience with Queen Marika to become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. Will do. The fingers expect as much from you as they do, young Gideon. Take this. A token of farewell. A talisman pouch! Become. Thank you! Um, I came to talk to her because I wanted to show you. Renala's soul gets you a moon spell and her staff. The moon spell is cool, it costs 70 intelligence to use. Um, but you you literally become the moon and launch it at your enemies. And it makes them weaker to magic, I think. Or maybe that's the dark one. Um... You can also buy her clothes now. But... I'm not a mage build. I don't need any of her stuff, so... CONSUME! Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Nice. One of them can go up to plus 12. I need three more... Smithing Stone 3s. Damn, it's annoying though when one of them is not... The same. So you can see now, the other one does 66 bleed damage at the bottom, and now this one does 70. So, the more you keep upgrading them, the more bleed they do. They're incredible. Oh, look at that menacing thing. It's just a head that has fire coming out of it. They're so nasty. Also really hard to kill. Unless you get... You jump on their head. Or hit them in the back. I need to get up here and kill this guy before he starts raining arrows down on me. So annoying, dude! <laughs> Just smack tires going by. Top of the morning to you! <laughs> ah, my bones! Jeez. Okay, hi! -ya! That does a lot of damage now. Alright, I guess everybody wants to get involved. I have a friend too! No, oh, I can't use him. Oh, God. I ran out of FP. Okay, these are strong now. My god, lads! Calm down! Nice! Easy! 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 I want to do this fort because you get a medallion to get you up the lift to Altus Plateau. Um, and that's going to be important because I want to get through Radan's castle easier. Because I can go through it again better later. We're trying to optimize things here. We're trying to use our game knowledge to get a more favorable outcome. You know? Trying to game the system. Oh my god, look at those plants. Ew. <laughs> oh, what happened to the textures? They were like, you weren't supposed to see this that close. Sorry. I don't know how you put a ladder here. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. Wait, you're not standing here? What is happening? I'm like, I'm like, kinda hitting you. <laughs> Dude, that shield. Get rid of it. It's not helping anything. Oh, he fell. I'll be down to deal with you in a bit. Or maybe not even at all. Can you open up the, the gate here? I... I've been here a bunch of times. And I've never actually known if you're able to open up that gate. I've like looked around and I couldn't find anything. So I always just assumed you couldn't. Oh my god. Alright, now you. Okay, I don't want that other guy to get involved though. Okay. Nice. Nice. 
god! Ouch, ouch, ouch! Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Even though you have every intention of killing me. Hiya! Nice. Just stop doing that. Let me get my runes. Let me get my runes. Nice. Okay. That does nothing when you have a shield up. Can you can you put down the shield? Okay. Not too much. Okay. Now he angry. I'm trying to time it. Nice. Oh, dude, you're about to go down. Ow. I almost... I thought I was gonna roll off the edge again. I swear. <laughs> Me and these ledges, we we have to have a talk. So it turns out I was at the wrong fort. It's... it's this fort. The fort in the Dragon Barrow. Gotcha. But, we can uh, kill two birds with one stone. Or several dragons with two blades. Um, there's a... there's a giant sleeping dragon here. Who screams and roars and there's a bunch of dragons all around him. Uh, I'll get you a look at his face. So you can see. He's very, very, very large. And he's very, very cool. He's the biggest dragon in the game. And then he wakes up and he does a heckin' scream. And it wakes up everybody else. So we're not gonna go down there, because they will all beat my ass. But there's a there's a trick you can do. You can kill this guy. He big, but he's not immune. Well, you can kill him only if you have bleed. You can kill him other ways as well, but you don't really do a whole lot of damage. Bleed bleed is a percentage of an enemy's health. So we do like 13,000 damage whenever it procs. Nice. He's gonna bleed again soon. And then he'll be dead, but he's not gonna bleed yet. I don't know. Well, let's... Do I have one? Yeah, I have four. Let's do one of these. You get more runes when you do these. Because when he dies, he kills all the other dragons in front of him. And then if you use a uh, pickled foul foot, you get more runes. So we're about to make bank. Nice. An easy 109k. <laughs> Holy god. It's so many runes all of a sudden. Nice. Boom, baby. All right. Um, later on, I do want to level up mind. I've been leveling up arcane now because it does that bloody slash, I think, scales on that. But... It's not really benefiting me right now. I could respec later when I get the weapon that actually really uses it. Um, I do want to get a lot more mind later to summon Black Knife Tish is going to be our summon, but you need like 120, 132 FP to be able to summon her. And if I put it all into my levels now, I'm going to get 90. So, we'll see what happens. I want to put stuff into levels now that are going to benefit me now, so we'll get up to 40 decks. I hate these. I hate them so much. They're so much stronger than they need to be. Oh, I can't summon Caden because I don't have a gold rune or my big rune equipped. Okay, part of me kind of just wants to dip in and out of this area. Okay, nice. Now we do a big bleed. Hell yeah. Okay. Manageable. I don't know why they're as hard as they are. The little ones are fine. But it's these bigger ones that suck. And poison? Jesus. Oh god. Hiya! Oh, that did nothing. Well, not nothing, but. Death, god damn it! Oh man! Why are they so hard? Alright, I'll be back, you battered. Bastards. <laughs> In and out. In and out. 
No one needs to know you're here. They all suck. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> My god. Oh, not the poison from up here. Okay, we good. We good, we good, we good. Chill, chill, chill. Everybody calm down. Everybody have a nice time. Take this! Cool. Okay. We did it. We're out. Oh boy. <laughs> what a tough little area. Hey, hey! The Church of Vows! Turtle Pope! <laughs> What's up? You're tarnished, aren't you? Yeah, you're a turtle. <laughs> you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. You're a turtle pope. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. That's fine. Do you know the origin of this place? How I don't. To be known as the. I I have no idea. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us. I want to put my fingers in his nose. Very dear. It is here at the Church of Vows that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses, the Erd Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Nice. So this is where Radigan and Renala got married. And then, because their names begin with R's, then you have offspring like Rani and Rena. Um, same as you have Queen Marika um, giving birth to Margit, kind of thing. They follow a very clever scheme. But Turtle Pope's the best. If you want to learn magic, incantations, you can come to Turtle Pope and he'll teach you. But he's sleepy. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to sh I would serve as your guide, only my oh. eyes aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction, in which case I will- Yeah, so you can study stuff as well, give him prayer books and everything. He's a nice little turtle pope. God, this game is gorgeous. As you can see, all the divine towers as well. There's one up there next to the Erd Tree, three there. Should be another somewhere. There's Rayo Lucaria in the distance again. Mount Gelmir just sticking up in the distance. So badass how they managed to like put them all together. You have two walking mausoleums here one there, one up there. The other one's not moving though. These ones are weird because they don't have any bells on them. I don't think I can actually get down here, can I? Ooh. Oh, choices are made for me. Torrent just decided to run off the cliff. They were sick of my indecisiveness and said, I'm going to take matters into my own hands. same and nothing has changed at all. Look, we're the other side of Rhea Lucaria now. <laughs> Sir? You want to chill out? <laughs> I mean, dying's good too. That's a great decision. Uh, one that I fully stand behind. Anyway, everything's the same and nothing's different at all. If you feel like it's different, go get checked. In your face. By a doctor. <laughs> hey, it's a statue of Radagon. We've been seeing statues of Marika everywhere. Uh, but this one's of Radagon. Look at him, T posing on us, asserting dominance. You think you're better than me? You think you're better than me, statue man? You think you're better than me just because you get a six pack? Massive chest, huge arms, and a pose that dominates all? Well, you're not. Oh god, I'm being chased by Big Bird from Sesame Street. Leave me alone, Big Bird! I know my ABCs! A, B, C, D, E, F, U! That joke would've been a lot cooler if that song hadn't come out that just did exactly that. 
you know, the song that came out and everyone's like, whoa, this song's really clever and really fun. And then it was played way too many times and now no one cares about it anymore. And that's just the way. It happens to the best of us. D climb the wall, ding dang. Um, I can't open my map, great. Apparently you lose the ability to open up a piece of paper when things are chasing you down. Maybe it's the fear. Maybe you just get so terrified that your hands are shaking that you wouldn't be able to read it anyway. Bye, bye, I'm not fighting any of you. I'm just trying to look for map pieces. So I can figure out where I'm going. Like, what is all this? What is that? There's a side of grace right there. <laughs> I looked over at the exact right moment. I didn't even know that was there. <laughs> look at that giant skull in the distance. It's just a giant face on the side of a- It makes me think of a baby. Like, it looks like a baby skull. Like a giant baby skull. Am I the only one? Hey, map! Oh, I was in the middle of nowhere. Got it. I had no idea. I don't actually have to go north at all. I can just come here. I didn't realize I thought I had to hit Altus Plateau for this to happen. Lauren reads a whole bunch of guys here and they're all shooting trebuchets at you. The superior form of a catapult, I might add. And then you come in here and there's a whole bunch of dudes that want to kill you, but at some point they just clear out. The festival has started and they're like, Sorry, sorry, we've been in the way. My bad. And they just leave. Great lads. Hear that? It's the halo theme. <laughs> it sounds exactly like it. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so hard not to hear it. So, there's normally a boss fight here and you have to come in and fight two dudes, but it's so incredibly unbalanced. It's not a fun fight at all. It's the same guy we fought at Morn Castle all the way down here. Uh, that misbegotten guy. And it's a crucible knight. And it's just, right now, it's just way too all over the place. It's way too tough. Um, and it's it stops you from getting to a really fun fight. My favorite fight in the game, so I just skip it. We can come back and do it later. We don't have to do it now. You can do it in reverse order. But Blythe is here as well. Everyone's here for the festival. Hmm. Thought I might find you here. I must admit, I was a little worried. We missed our meeting. Did we? But it looks like you're still in one piece, eh? You must have heard by now, right? That Star Skirt Radan holds Rani's fate in stasis. But once he's out of the way, it will spring back into motion. So now, we stand against the demigod once known as the strongest of them all. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight, sword and fang. <laughs> and skull. <laughs> Did we miss our meeting? I specifically remember meeting you in Siafra, getting shot by arrows and you just pretended like I didn't exist. It didn't even help. So much for friend. Uh, this lady's here as well. What's her name? Theolona or something? She doesn't speak though, she just bows. Thank you for the polite bow. Welcome. Hello! The stars are aligned. The festival is nigh. General Radan, mightiest demigod of the shattering, awaits you. Champions, prepare for battle. Defeat the general, claim glory, and grab that great rune. A celebration of war. The Radon Festival. So cool. We also have our buddy Potman here. Ah, you came. How delightful. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. I did come. By the by. And I also arrived here. Do you here. know for whom this festival is being held? Well, it is not. <laughs> yeah, we know that. I could face a great champion of the shattering. A demigod in the flesh. Oh, God. In truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But the fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. <laughs> I 
Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to Hell yeah. brave this ordeal. Dude, there might be a second shattering soon. You're you're made of clay. <laughs> I mean, I'm a, I'm a good friend, I'd like to think, to uh, Mr. Potman here, I saved him. But, you are a pot, and you're going up against a demigod. Granted, I've killed Manny already, but you're a pot! This is cool, too. I don't know what they do at these, because normally when you go up to these, you collect star fragments. So I don't know, do these collect them? I'm not sure. Ooh, Summer Smithing Stone 5, nice. Uh, there's none at this one, but there normally is. But it was the same at Carry a Manor after we defeated Loretta. There was like one of these and a bunch of chairs all around as well in the same zone, so... I don't really know what the lore is behind those. Let's talk to our main man. Are you good and prepared, young chum? The festival begins. <laughs> Cutscene time! Before we begin... Allow me to paint you the full picture. No, oh, the horsey. It's a clean rot night. General Radan is cursed ever to wander. From the inside, by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Ugh. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. A monster. Howling at the sky. Ah, should we all do that from time to time? Full moon out? But now, we must make merry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gathering of champions! The revels begin! The celebration of war! The Radan Festival! Oh! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Let's go! This is why this is my favorite fight, because no other fight in FromSoft history has this level of build-up. A lot of the fights have like, oh, you've heard of this person before, but then you just walk in and you stumble upon them. Or you kind of know who you're going up against and things like that. But this is like, you get to the castle, the festival begins, everyone's here, the somber music. He tells you this, you get the cutscene, you have to go over here to a special arena just to fight him. Um, there's also stuff in that, so he said that Melania gave him Scarlet Rot. If you saw the first trailers for Elden Ring, you will have seen Melania fight him, and they came to a standstill. Neither of them, I think, had ever been defeated before, and they didn't defeat each other, they just came to a standstill. And she, she created Scarlet Rot in Kaelid after that, like during that excursion, so to speak. And he got Scarlet Rot, which is the toxic, and it just rotted him from the inside. But he's so strong that he went through it, and now he's still just, like, a big, beefy boy. And the horse that he's riding around on, I'm gonna tell you now before we actually get into the fight. Um, but we can go down the elevator. We're fighting him down there. See this as well? You kind of, like, see the arena. You, see, you go down into it. You can, like, settle into what's about to become. Like, I, I was nervous going into this fight, because I knew he was the guy from a lot of the promotional material leading up to the game originally, and I was like, okay, this is going to be hard. Which, this might be the first boss that actually kills me over and over again, because he's very hard. Um, and I'm, I'm a little under-leveled, I think. But, he... That horse that he's riding around on, he loved that horse so much that he wanted to keep him for his whole life and just ride that horse and have a very close bond with him. But he started to grow so large based on the training he was doing and because he's a demigod and all these different factors that he started crushing his own horse. And because he felt so bad about it, he went to learn gravity magic from people 
and he's levitating the entire time now. So he levitates his feet. You'll see it in the fight, because when the fight begins, I won't be able to talk about it. But take note of his feet. They, like, glow purple. Um, and he does gravity magics throughout the fight as well. But he, he learned that just so he could ride his horse around. So he's not crushing him under the weight anymore. And it's so cute when you see him in the fight, and he's just zooming around in this tiny horse. People found out that the horse AI, because it's not named in the game, but the horse AI was called Radan and Leonard. So the horse's name is Leonard. <laughs> it's so cute. Pop one of these bad boys. All right, let's head in. Let's see what happens. The festival begins. There he is in the distance. And then you come in and it's like, wait, what? He fires these massive arrows at you that you have to dodge. And then you can summon everybody that was at the festival. Everybody can come in and fight with you. It's so cool. Normally in FromSoft games, you're only able to... I can't remember how many you're allowed to bring with you. I think it's like four max. Whoop. Okay, let's take our time a little. Whoop. Um, and then we get to summon Blythe as well. Wait, I missed one originally. Or it's one of these patches. Yeah, patches. You get to summon patches in, but he leaves immediately. You'll see it. Ow. He, like, Patches, like, comes in and leaves instantly because he's like, fuck no. So you can kind of leave this fight up to these guys to fight the whole thing if you want. And you can ride around on your horse, but I like getting stuck in. But that's also what gets me killed. Oh, God. Oh, people are dead already. Jesus. I haven't even got a swing in. Christ. Fuck. Everybody's dead! Stop! Okay, Blythe is still alive. That's good. It takes a bit to resummon them anyway, so holy fuck. This is not going well. And Alexander's dead. See, I have a lot of bleed, and that's good. But it's not good if everyone's dying. Um, summon her in. Even though she's kind of annoying because she just follows me. Yeah, Theralina. She's like a healer, and a, she buffs you up and stuff, but she follows me, which stinks. Because <laughs> she's not helping the guys on the front line, and then if she follows me, then she attracts his AI in my direction all the time. Uh, let's get Blythe back in. I have to wait for him to be resummonable. So they're doing okay. I think the first time I fought this fight, I, I came in way too early. And I, I just didn't have... I didn't have the power to defeat him on my own, so I just summoned all them. But it's so cool, right? You get to, like, go in with your own little army. You never get to do that in a FromSoft game. Okay, he's summoned. Um, Blythe is one of the stronger ones. Okina would be... Because he has some seriously strong stuff that he can pull off, but he never does it. Okay. Nice, I got a bleed off. I do so much bleed damage, but I, I'll die really fast if I'm not careful. Uh-oh. Christ. Nice! Hell yeah, getting the bleed off before he goes away? Excellent. Okay, watch out for him. Here he comes. <laughs> and beyond! The coolest attack ever! <laughs> he turns into a bloody meteor! <laughs> We're actually doing really well. But I, I get very nervous at this phase of the fight because he sends stuff at me that can just pound me into the ground. And I don't want to die. <laughs> I have a good track record of beating them first try so far. Except Margaret. You guys keep throwing Margaret in my face. Come here. Doesn't count. Who's alive, by the way? I probably should get in there and fight. While they're... Oh, God. While they're distracting him. Oh, shit. That's gonna be a big one. Or not. What are you doing? This one I hate. Hey! Boom, baby. 
Stay alive, lads, please, for the love of God. Yeah, baby! Oh, not much, Mr. Scourge! How are you? Let's go! That's what I'm talking about! Nice! Fuck yeah! That went so well! God! Oh man! So proud of that! Oh wait, cool cutscene. So they said he was holding back the stars, arresting their cycles. <laughs> oh my god! So awesome! My god, FromSoft have gotten so good at like the spectacle of their games about making everything turned up to 11. A bloody star crashed on the planet. And then it creates a giant hole. It crashes, like, here. So this area that was all, like, flat land before now has a massive hole in it. And all of those stars he was holding back. Madness. Ah, good. I was waiting for you. Good buddy. Oh, what a sick way to fight, eh? The glory of the clash is shared. By Radan. And you. And ha! <laughs> Did you see that afterwards? A falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something at that scale. Yeah. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. I love that line. And the path has now been cleared. To Nokra. Irani's fate will be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more. For Mistress Rani. Yes. Blight's the coolest character. I absolutely fucking love that line. There's something about, like, just the respect of it. Him saying he was a lidging, a lidging legend. A living legend if ever I saw one. There's something about that, like, he may be dead, and we can revel in that fact, and you got the great rune, but let's not kid ourselves that that was hard. Um. Oh. And there's Alexander. Because he's a tough fight. He's, he's one of the fights that I think causes a lot of people grief earlier in the game, because you can get here much earlier and you can stumble into this fight a little bit. I think that's maybe why they put those other two in front of it, the ones that I skipped, because otherwise, if you can beat them, they're probably like, well, you beat them, okay, you can probably fight Redan. Um, but if you go the, the route I did, then they're like, well, if you're this far into the game, you're also probably able to fight Redan. Uh, but yeah, coolest fight in the game. Not because it's like, oh, I'm dodging his moves. Oh, it's so intricate, and the move, the movement system that he has is so divine or anything. Like, his hitboxes are a little clumsy, and they did actually nerf him. They made him a little easier. I think he does less damage, and his, maybe less damage, or his hitboxes are different, or he has less health. Um, but there's just something about that whole hype leading up to it, the spectacle, everyone talking about him, everyone having respect for him. There's a whole festival held like that whole festival is held just to try and kill him and he wants to die as well like he wants to go out in battle but also if you want to make the fight a little easier on yourself you can also go in with scarlet rot um if you have anything that does scarlet rot damage or like pots or anything that he's very weak to that um what am i doing maybe some endurance actually so i can hold on to better armors later but let's go talk to pot boy What's he doing? Ah, hello there. Well, it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a crock. No one, one hit was all it took to crack me, and for my insides to come spilling out. After that, I hid like a coward, and as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. Don't say that about yourself. He did great. <sighs> but don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. 
If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. Mm. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Mm. Just you wait and see, friend. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> see, that line of dialogue then <laughs> it re it reveals all about what the pots are. Which is that I didn't need to know that you were like bodies inside there. I thought you were some sort of like sentient pot. I don't know if they're all like that or it's just Alexander like refilling himself, but whenever you kill them, you get like meat dumplings. I'm like, are you all full of like dead people? Are you all squishy little bodies in there? It's fucking gross. I don't like that. Ew, stop. Did you see it? Did you see it? I did it. I killed Rodan. No big speech this time. You were like, I've only seen two runes in one place ever before. Just once. And now I have three and you're just like, yeah, whatever. What the fuck do you want? Um, so for Radan's soul, you get his swords, uh, which are some of the strongest swords in the game. They're intelligence strength swords, but it's it's dual great swords. So a lot of people after fighting Radan end up using these weapons and then using his armor for like the entire rest of the game, which is a fine choice. It's one of the strongest armors in the game. Um, I think Lionel's armor is the only one that beats it for sheer resistances. Um, but his swords also do incredible amounts of damage and stagger. And if you just jump spam attacks, you you can basically win the game. You can also get his bow, which I've never really used. I've never been a big bow wielder. Or I've never been a big great bow wielder. Imbued with gravitational power of the Star Scourge. When used along with Radan's spear, it becomes a true weapon of a champion. So those like arrows that he was firing at us, I think he pulls them out of his back to shoot at you. Um, at least it looks like that. Rodan earned considerable renown as the Star Scourge in his youth, and it is said that it was during this time that he engraved the Gravity Crest upon these blades. So that's the actual magical symbol for gravity in this world. Pretty cool. Um, they're not relevant to my build. Shut the fuck up. They're not relevant to my build, um, so I'm just going to use his soul. I'm not getting any of the gods' weapons. I could probably buy his armor. Yeah, I don't think I can equip it though. I think it'll be too heavy for me. But it's good to have. Go forth. Bye! So you can also do that. You can use his soul to buy his armor. <gasps> Medium load? Medium load? I... Okay. I don't like the headgear. I think it looks crap. I hate the hair on the back of it. I hate that it obscures my vision. I hate that it's just big red puffy hair bouncing off the top of my head. It's distracting. It doesn't look cool. But I do like this. Not so much. You're supposed to have hair. Where's the hair? Can I add that back? Ah, now we're hitting heavy load. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> My little eyes. <laughs> okay, that looks stupid. I, I like the skeleton face more. Yeah, that looks much better. But does that mean I can... Medium load! Yes! Ho, 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 ho! Look at me! Look at me! Look at me, D! Do you see me? Don't look at my D. What are you looking at? Creep. I'm gonna find myself heading to the room-strewn precipice. I feel like it's the right time to do it because I'm going to get a lot of upgrade materials in that vicinity to blend in with the natural establishments that this game has provided, such as myself. I'm going to have to do the natural accoutrement of this location, which being the accent. Everybody else in the game talks like this. It's basically how Patches talks. Well, well, well. Plus, any excuse I get to be an um, absolute gobshite, the better. The more times I get to do voices, the better. I let you live, little weird alien dudes. I like the cut of your jib. I like your funny words, magic man. Now I get to be General Redan. I even got the two swords in my hand. Everyone should fear me. 
I'm scary. I'm gonna bite their faces off. Actually, that is what Radan did, and it wasn't really that cool. I mean, they're dead. You're gonna die if you don't eat. So I guess, I mean, would I eat a person if my life depended on it? I actually don't think I would. I think, <laughs> I get weirded out by like a piece of meat if it's like a stringy piece of it or something. <laughs> I don't think I could eat human even if I was about to die. I'd probably just starve. Probably just crawl up into a ball and die. But now we have found ourselves in the rune strewn precipice. Well, not yet, it's a little further up. Um, I'm just gonna steal your stone. You know you could have just taken that out, right? He's like, what? Come back! I was working on that. I loosened it! Ha, <laughs> sucker. But you gotta be careful around these parts, because there's a lot of badges around. Huh! Nice. Damn. These... God damn it, I got poisoned. It's okay, we'll get a, a sight of grey soon. These swords are really good. Like, that Redan fight, I found out that... I mean, I found out super early on that bleed was... I found out in the closed network test, like before the game was even set to release, months beforehand, that bleed was kind of strong. Because I, I picked Samurai just because it looked cool, and then I was flying around with the Uchi Katana, and I was like, man, everything is susceptible to bleed. All the bosses so far, as far as I had gotten. And then getting into this part, and I was like, I'll just try it on people. And I beat Radan with the claws the first time. And I couldn't believe that he was so susceptible to bleed. Because I thought he would just be so strong that it wouldn't affect him. But yeah. Bleed is very strong, and this doing so much bleed every swing, like every swing is two hits. Watch out, it's gonna blow! Damn, I look cool. Taking names and looking good doing it. That's you, Dinklebamp. That's you. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Dude, you're just the guy from the Lego commercials. Hey! Hey! Damn, that was good. <laughs> I always surprise myself sometimes with impressions. I'll do like a voice, or th this is how I should have known I have ADHD. Um, a sound will come on anywhere, as you guys well know by now, and I'll I'll just have to replicate it immediately. But I do that all the time. It's not just an affectation of being a, a YouTuber and needing to fill space and stream of consciousness and all that. I do it at home as well. Like, a car will honk as I'm going down the street and I'll go, Hi! It's like, dude, I'm just a dog chasing cars. And not in the cool, like, Heath Ledger Joker way. Um... Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. And sometimes I'll do an impression of something, like a character, or like that, Hey! And I'll turn to Evelyn and I'll be like, That was a good one. And she'll be like, yeah. She must get so- she must get so tired of me. <laughs> oh, it's like dealing with a child. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes, like, you hear your own voice in your head, and I do certain- I'm leaving. I do certain voices and then I'm like, wait, does that actually come out the way I think it does? Because in my head it sounds accurate to what I'm hearing. But- Guys, what am I fucking talking about? Can we just cut to the next part of the vi Yes, we're coming up to it. Okay. You hear that singing? That's that bat lady. Have I talked about this in an episode yet? I can't remember. But I wanna- I wanna talk about them for a second, because they're fascinating. So it's kind of like a siren's call, right? So they're singing Latin. And for the longest time I was like, what are you actually singing? So it, it repeats here, it's not very long. So she's singing, unfortunately that land once blessed now has diminished. Then the next line is we were destined to become mothers, now become tarnished. We lamented and shed tears, but no one consoles us. Golden one, at whom were you angry? 
Humus lacrima vimus, sed nemunus consolatur. It's so cool. It's one of my favorite things in the game. It's so creepy sounding. It's like the winter lanterns in Bloodborne that would go. La, la, la. I really like it. I think it's neat. Also, Latin is just, it's a cool language. A dead language, but a cool one. Um, I don't want to fight you all at once, so can you come down here, please? <laughs> Jesus, that almost killed him. God damn, I almost killed him! Oh, Lord. No, I don't want to trigger her. She's harder than these ones. And I don't mean just like she has more health or anything, like she's just hard, like she's just sitting there singing, she don't give a shit. Let's actually equip those, equip? I swear, ever since I've had COVID, my brain doesn't work. And I've read things that people are doing studies to say that like the gray matter of your brain actually reduces after you've had COVID and that's why you lose your sense of taste and smell. And it's actually doing brain damage. And people have trouble with like speech and memory afterwards and I definitely have that. But I don't know how factual that actually is, or if I'm just confirmation bias and want to believe something that is aligning with me. Shut the fuck up. Ish, they throw poison at you. Like, really not cool. I know I'm the instigator in this situation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm not dealing with you. I don't care. I'm leaving. Bye. Are you kidding me? But you didn't know you could drink on a ladder. You can do that in real life as well. Just be careful. Ha! Everybody dies when Dinklebamp's in town. If you agree to vote for me in the Elden Lord elections. There's a joke there somewhere about like Elden elections. Elden and election kind of sound like they'd be close enough to make a joke there. There's another one. At least you know they're around, because they they like singing to you. Honestly, it kind of sounds like a lullaby. Even though the lyrics aren't really that. But then again, are all lullabies weird lyrics? I can't say I've ever thought about the lyrics to a lullaby. I don't know why I'm going over here, because I don't think there's... I think there's a stone up here. Ha ha! My Elden senses are tingling. Oi, bruv, you do me a great service if you don't fuck off and die. Thank you. Okay, let's get this guy in the face. Nailed it, got him. Could also just take your items and go. See, he's just annoying. Ah. Come here. Yeah, how you like that? Oh, I'm gonna get you right in the ovary hole. Nice. Excellent. Give me that. Gi give me that. <laughs> give me that land octopus over it. <laughs> I don't like having to say it. I don't like thinking about it. I don't actually know what they make. <laughs> Your lyrics are all botched. Okay, I'm gonna avoid fighting them if I can. Because they are just a gigantic pain in the anus. Oh, where'd it come from? Oh god, I don't know. I'll just go search for it. Actually, this works. I'm not gonna use these anyway for anything else. Excuse me? Kukri do blood loss? I can honestly say I've never known that. This is shocking information to me. Oh, ah, yourself. Ah, oh, look at that. That's the, the Dectus lift. We didn't use it, because you get two pieces, and then you go into this, and you go up, and you end up in the same place that I'm going now. Um, so it's like two different ways to go this direction. If you don't find those pieces, this is the way you go. But I like going this way anyway, 
because you get a lot of upgrade materials for your weapons. It's very beneficial. You also get the Magma Worm Scale Sword, if that's what you're into. I don't personally like it, but it's whatever. Oh, that's not a flask. Oh, big door. Big door for a big boy. But it's just a Magma Worm again. A tougher one, but it's just a Magma Worm again. My bleed build is really good against these guys. Unless he kills me, then it's not so good. <laughs> don't, don't do that attack again. Just settle down. There you go. There you go. Ow! Yeah, I saw somebody in the comments was talking about how all of this time that I finished the game and I just... I haven't learned how to jump from attacks and like dodge them that way and I'm like... I just don't like jumping to dodge attacks. I feel like... I feel like the iframes from rolling are so much more consistent. I just feel more comfortable doing that. It feels like... Uh, Old school Dark Souls kind of way of playing and Bloodborne. Oh, he angry now. But I feel like I've I've tried jumping over attacks before, and I still kind of get hit by them. I'm just way more inconsistent with the jump dodges. Okay, you need to fucking settle down. Oh, I knew I was going to get hit by that. Where are you going? What are you doing? God. You should be close to death. I mean a bleed, not death. Clearly you're close to death because I can see your health bar. <laughs> there we go. Ha ha ha. Noish! Epic! Magma Worm Makar. <clears throat> hey, I'm getting achievements now, because I actually haven't done... Wait, I did do this on PC. I played it on a PC with very bad to no Wi-Fi. Does that not get you achievements? Wow. The Altus Plateau. How very pretty. There's Mount Gelmir in the distance. Alright, folks. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. We got a lot done. All the way past Redan, we have a huge amount of the map uncovered. I didn't even do this yet. Um, but we're well on our way. We're in Altus Plateau now, which means that the capital, where you end the game, is over here. But... There's still lots and lots and lots and lots of game to go. <laughs> um, we have to do the capital, then we have to do the Forbidden Lands, Consecrated Snowland if I want to do it, but do I want to fight Melania? I don't know. She's an absolute bullshit boss. Um, then we have to do Farm Azula. There's a lot to do. There's plenty of places for us to go. It's not over yet. Thank you guys so much for participating in the series so far, any of you who do. Um, it just makes me very happy that I get to play games like this on my channel and a lot of people watch it and have fun with it. Um, because I know I'm not playing through it for the first time, I know I'm kind of late to it, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but that's not really what YouTubing is about a lot of the time. A lot of the time it's about doing what you really like doing, regardless of how well it's going to do or if people are, if everyone's going to like it. And when I look back in 10 years, I'll be very happy that I did this game on my channel at some point. And that's what it's all about. It's about a legacy at this point. I've been doing YouTube like 10 years almost. It's about like leaving good stuff behind and having fun with it. And I am. I'm having a blast. So hopefully you guys are as well. So thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye bye.